Good morning and welcome to the next video in the cybersecurity space. In this video, we are going to talk about the ethical hacking certifications. Let's begin with what is ethical hacking. Now, ethical hacking is a term utilized for cybersecurity experts. The job role is to identify vulnerabilities in networks, applications, systems, anything that is IT infrastructure. Yeah, we are supposed to identify all the vulnerabilities over there uh, and then we are trying to patch them up so that hackers unable to misuse those vulnerabilities and thus we increase the security posture of that particular organization. We use the same tools that are used during hacking except that the intent is different. The intent here is to identify the vulnerabilities and then remedy them instead of misusing them. So what is the purpose of ethical hacking? Organizations will hire ethical hackers to conduct a simulation of an exercise that an hacker might undertake thus compromising the security of an organization. So in this case, the ethical hacker scenario is to identify any flaws or any vulnerabilities that have been left behind, bring it to the attention of that organization so that they can remedy those scenarios, thus preventing uh, actual incident uh, from happening. So this would result in the data, the infrastructure of the organization being protected and the ethical hackers would have enhanced the security of that organization. The system vulnerabilities would be minimized to an acceptable level. There's no way that you can get rid of all the vulnerabilities altogether. But in a structured manner, you can identify the most critical ones and patch them up so that they cannot be misused. So who are ethical hackers? An ethical hacker is an individual who is employed by the company and given permission to perform security assessments. So they have an authorization from the company and they would have definite contracts in place which would detail them of what they are expected to do, what they are allowed to do and what should be the result out of that particular activity. So to remain ethical, whatever the findings are, the ethical ha hacker is supposed to report it back to the organization so that they can uh, look into the findings and then can resolve them. So let's start looking at the certifications. So to be an ethical hacker, you must hold a certification which specializes in ethical hacking or in cybersecurity. Companies look for candidates who are globally certified. When we say globally certified, they're looking for a certificate that has been given by an organization that is recognized globally and is well accepted in the industry. So these are the top five certifications a candidate can obtain. The first one, become a certified ethical hacker. Then there is Global Information Assurance Certification Penetration Tester. Then Offensive Security Certified Professional, Comchia Pentest Plus. And finally, the Licensed Penetration Tester. Now, uh, these certifications are offered by different organizations. All of these organizations are recognized globally and their certifications are well accepted uh, in the technical space. So let's start off with the Certified Ethical Hacker and we'll look at uh, the organizations that provide these certifications and how we can attain them. So CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker in its current form is in its version 10. It's been revised and updated over a period of time. EC Council is the certifying authority for CEH. They have their own authorized training centers through which you can attend trainings, give those exams, get yourself certified and thus become globally certified and uh, can be eligible to apply for security related jobs. It is a very well known certification and is widely accepted at the same time. It would test the candidate's knowledge of security threats and preventive measures. Now there are two types of exams that you can give with CEH. One is a multiple choice question exam which is theoretical in nature. They ask you questions and you answer the correct uh, you select the correct answers. If you clear you get certified. The second certification nowadays is where there's a practical exam associated with it. That's a, uh, you'll have to purchase the voucher for that exam and give that exam. The practical exam is held in a virtual lab where they, you're given scenarios and based on those scenarios, you have to resolve the questions given to you and give proof of the resolution, which would then uh, get you certified as an ethical hacker. The theoretical exam in this scenario is the fees is around $500. This is for the multiple choice question exam uh, where you can pay the fees and you can uh, attend through a uh, online portal and you can give the exam directly. The exam is four hours long in which you have to answer 125 questions. Now four hours for 125 questions seems a long time, but it isn't. 
it's a very technical exam there are scenario based questions and it would take some time for you to analyze and understand the question and then identify the equivalent correct answer so it's a very competitive exam and you'll have to study really hard to clear this exam as well the cutoff for passing varies from 60 to 85 percent so there is no exact grade and all the questions have different weightages so depending on the questions that have been given to you and the way that you have answered them you would pass at either 60 percent or you would pass when you have scored 85 percent once you are CEH certified, which is a very technical certification, you will be qualified to apply for job roles as a penetration tester or a security engineer. These are job roles where you would be responsible of ethically trying to attack applications, uh, servers, switches, and try to find out vulnerabilities within them. The training of this certification will make you adept in most of these tools that are required. There are a lot of practicals in this uh, training and uh, if uh, you successfully completed those practicals, clearing the exam is a uh, easy task. With the practicals comes your knowledge and would help you understand how you would be performing penetration tests in the real world. An average annual salary in the USA for a CEH certified person is around $91,000 and in India is around 4,76,000 odd rupees. The salaries would vary as far as organizations are concerned. Uh, more established organizations can afford to pay a little bit more, but these are average out salaries that we have seen across the market. The next certification is the GPEN, also known as the Global Information Assurance Certification Penetration Tester. This certification looks into the different pen testing practices and methods, also focuses on the various problems and pen testing. So again, this is where you're getting certified as a penetration tester. So it's again a technical certification where your knowledge on networking applications and security of which will be tested. Uh, you will be trained on this, of course. So the training will include all these areas where you need to focus, identify those problems and thus be ready for the real world scenarios. The candidate will have to understand networking concepts and operating systems such as Linux and Windows, and you should be very well aware of the TCP IP protocols. This is true for any of the technical certifications for ethical hacking. GIAC is the certification provider. It's again a very well-renowned and well-accepted uh, certification authority across the globe. The exam fees are $1,899. 82 to 115 questions to be answered in three hours. Now, why 82 to 115? It depends on the test that has been associated and depending on how you're answering those questions, uh, you would be given those many number of questions to begin with. But all of these need to be answered in three hours. 74% is the pass percentage that is required to clear this exam. The average annual salary in the USA is around $96,000, while in India, it is around uh, similar to certified ethical hacking. Then looking at the next certification from Offensive Security called the OSCP, uh, Offensive Security Certified Professional. This is another penetration testing certification, highly technical in nature, and it is an entirely hands-on certification. The previous two certifications that we saw, we talked about CEH where there are two different exams. You could either take the theoretical exam and give your MCQs or you could take the practical one. Here you don't have an option. This is a practical exam. So the test is conducted on a virtual network. So they send out uh, instructions to you. There's a virtual lab that is given out to you and they give you the questions and you have to perform those assessments, create those reports and provide it to the uh, certifying authority, in this case, offensive security. Uh, if you match their criteria of whatever you have identified in those reports, you get certified. Here, the requirements of good understanding of networking protocols, how systems function, how Kali Linux operating system functions and the candidate must complete offensive securities penetration testing with the Kali Linux course and pass the hands-on exam. So this focuses purely on Kali Linux. Kali Linux is an operating system that is freely distributed over the internet and comes structured with around 300 plus tools used for ethical hacking. So this course totally relies on Kali Linux for you to use as a tool set for penetration testing. The certificate provider as stated is Offensive Security. The name of the course is OSCP, Offensive Security Certified Professional. Exam is around $800 to 1550 Now understand that this exam is technical and is hands-on. So for you to prepare for this exam, they come up with virtual labs where you can start practicing and 
honing your skills. Depending on the number of days for which you have purchased the access to that particular labs, the amount will vary from $800, which would be the minimum access days available, to $1,550, where the maximum number of days would be given to you for practicing. Once you are ready, even during the time, sp time span of where you have that access, once you are ready for the exam, you can, you can attempt the exam and clear. The average annual salary is similar, around $91,000 for the US market and 905,000 rupees in the Indian market. Then looking at the Comchia Pentest Plus. Comchia is another certification authority or a certification provider or training provider that, that will help you get yourself certified in the ethical hacking space. So they have certification called Pentest Plus which is focused towards penetration testing. So it is an intermediate level certification. It assesses the vulnerability assessment and the penetration testing skills of a candidate. Here, the training will provide you with all the essentials where it will help you identify how to do vulnerability assessments, how to identify those vulnerabilities, and then which tools to utilize for what kind of a penetration test. For the requirements, a minimum of three to four years of hands-on experience in the information security field. Also, a CompTIA Security Plus or a Network Plus or equivalent knowledge is required. So in the Network Plus, uh, they talk about securing networks and uh, they help you understand the OSI layers, the TCP IP layers, and uh, help you understand the protocols and all of those things. So having that knowledge is an added advantage. The certificate provider is Comchia and the cost of the exam is around $349. Maximum number of questions is 85 and I think it's a three hour exam. The passing percentage is uh, scoring 750 marks out of a possible 900. So the scale is the minimum you can ever score is 100. If you're completely unprepared, the maximum you can score is 900. Uh, you get a leeway of 150 marks for your uh, certifications. So you have to score a minimum of 750 to clear the exam. Average annual salary for a Comchia certified penetration test plus Professional is $97,000 in the US market and in the Indian market it would be around 5 lakh rupees. Then comes the licensed penetration tester. Now this is an advanced certificate again from EC Council. This is where EC Council gives you a license which certifies that you have undergone thorough training and have cleared your exam in which you can conduct or lead an audit for vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. It is an expert level ex uh, certification, comes after the CEH certification. It is the ultimate test which tests this candidate's penetration testing skills. So there are two certifications over here. One is the ECSA, EC Council Certified Security Analyst. Once you clear that, you get you can appear for the licensed penetration tester. Both of these are hands-on certifications. So you will be given a virtual lab, you will be given a scenario in which you'll have to perform some assessments, create reports, submit it to the EC Council. They will analyze your reports. If they meet the criteria that have been identified, you would then be certified as a licensed penetration tester. The candidate must be above 18 years of age. A recertification is required every three years. So the validity is three years. After three years, you will have to be recertified or there is a continuing point education system over there where you can score points by publishing articles, by attending trainings or giving out trainings and you can get yourself recertified. It is preferred that the candidate has CEH and the ECSA certification. So the previous certification that we saw, Certified Ethical Hacker and then the ECSA, EC Council Certified Security Analyst after which you can appear for the LPT, the License Penetration Tester. The certificate provider again is EC Council. The License Penetration Tester exam has a different process. The candidate must purchase an exam dashboard for $899, which is valid for a year. So once you purchase the voucher, the validity is one year. Uh, you can prepare within that one year and then give the exam and attain the certification. Only once you are ready, the exam can be uh, scheduled and you can give that exam. The exam consists of three different levels. Each level has three different challenges. The candidate must pass at least one challenge in order to qualify for the next level. And for each level, the exam is six hours. So this is a grueling exam. This is hands-on. They are giving you challenges and they are going to test you on your skills as a penetration tester. So be ready to be very hands-on for this kind of a certification. Average annual salary in the US is around $100,000 and above. And in India, $825,000 and above. Well, that's it for this video. I thank you for your patience and going through this video as well. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.